Hello, and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at Ravel's 1958 Chevrolet Impala 2-in-1, which is part of their Lowrider edition. It's copyright 2007, skill level 2, 143 pieces plus. You can build it stock, Lowrider, and some other custom parts, opening hood and trunk. Copyright 2007. Let's take a look inside. Inside, first we have our clears and our reds. One chrome tree. Two chrome tree. So we got part of the lowrider trunk. Another stack of molded white plastic. Another stack of molded white plastic. Third chrome tree. Third and fourth maybe. Looks like we got one more here. Oh, looks like some custom parts go. Um, yet one more chrome tree. It's an Impala. It's got to have lots of chrome, right? There we have a hood and deck lid. There's the big beautiful body. Bunch of holes in it to align all the chrome. A couple sets of tires. Instructions, let's see, and the decal pack. I guess we can start here. Some rotor, some emblems, gauge cluster, wheel covers, caps. Looks like the fender trims, hood and deck lid trims. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like a white ghost flame. This comes with a whole set. Try to get some different angles here then. And we got some uh, seat paneling. Some pinstripe there too. A couple options for license plates. Looks like a really nice decal set. Let me open up the plastic and we'll take a closer look at all the parts. Okay, we can start off with the clears. I'm just going to leave them in the plastic to save them from scratches. We got a windshield, back glass, a couple pairs of headlights. We got six reds. And a pair of, a couple of whites there. We can move on to the quote-unquote lowrider tires. Super thin sidewalls. Some, some tread pattern there. And take out a couple of stock ones. It's kind of indented for a, a white wall ring. Pretty nice tread. Another smooth black wall on this side. Kit also has a steel axle and some pins and screws. Don't know that I've ever dealt with the, that type of setup, but we'll find out in the future. And moving on to some of that chrome. Here we got the, the huge huge lowrider wheels they look nice but they're compared to the stock size wheel cover looks like we got some disc brake rotors some knockoffs little air cleaners for the tricarb setup some fin valve covers moving on 
we got oh, Chrome's gonna wreck havoc on the phone. All right, we got a air cleaner there, dual snorkel, some wheel backs, alternator. There's an amp, some Chrome stock style valve covers. There's our three carb setup and a starter. Uh, looks like we must have a uh, little rider plaque there for the back window. It's like Amigos, is the word. Oh, I might have missed this other one. Can't quite make out what that says. Imperials. Moving on to some more custom stuff. Looks like we got a Continental kit. I think those were some uh, decorations for the side skirts and a license plate. We got some uh, trim there. It must be the, the three tail light rings. Some of that side trim. Got the fender tops, side vents, side mirrors, rear view, headlights, sides. It's more of the long, beautiful side trim, spears, great bumper, grill. Rear bumper. Well, that was plenty of chrome, wasn't it? All right, there's your deck lid. It does have a V and a keyhole. Some under, under ribbing. Same with the front hood. Got your V and your emblem. All right, looks like we got some engine parts here. So intake for tricarb, water pump, a couple of heads, pan shroud, manifolds, oil pan. And there's your white wall rings, wheel backs, your trunk floor. It's got the nice rubber mat in it. Some of your Continental kit parts, wheels. There's some of them long side skirts. Dual exhaust and drive shaft. Got our chassis pan. All sorts of detail. Big X frame molded in. Still looks good. Here we got our front lower A arms, rear suspension differential. We got uh, cowl and radiator battery. Other side of the radiator springs. Moving on to some interior parts. There we got the back seat. That speaker grill, front split bench, does have some molded in detail. You got, uh, looks like a dual amp set up there. Seat back. Here it looks like our floor pan and inner fender wells. There's a couple of lines and hoses. Texture for your carpeting with the mats molded in, which is nice. Rear seat bottom. And the last tree here. Looks like we got some battery packs. Some door. 
There's our engine transmission house, our dash. Let's see if we can pick up the thing. It's got the numbers and some details. Radio, three pedals. Last but not least, we got the body. Again, it's full of holes for all that trim. Nice locating marks. Glue points. And front fender louvers. That high vent. Side trim. And the great Impala six tail lights. All right, stay tuned. I'll put up some stills. And uh, later on in the channel, I will be doing a buildup of it. Stay tuned. Thank you.